racks, uh, St. Louis ribs. We're gonna open them up, prepare them. We're gonna rub them down um, on the back. I do a loot and booty, everything rub. It's like an all-purpose for the top. I'm actually gonna use the Plowboys um, uh, Yardbird again. Same thing we used on the wings, but this is just phenomenal. One of the things you gotta do when you're, you're preparing ribs, so there's a membrane on the back. We gotta take that off. We gotta separate the rib tips so it cooks even. We're gonna clean up the edges. So we're gonna trim all this off. So that way it'll allow the, the rub to get in there, soak in there, square it up. These are the red tips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bones are going sideways. Cut all this stuff off. For the back. You want to kind of come up several inches up so it gives you a nice even coat. Pat it in. Because if, if you rub it in, it's going to take the different parts of the rub, it's going to mash it up in different piles. The Plowboys Yardbird is what we're using for the front. Mixing the two different flavors, come up several inches, gives you a nice even dusting. And you want to go where you can barely see the meat. And then again, we're gonna pat it in. So that's gonna sit in a cooler for a good couple hours. The moisture on sweating out, that's what you wanna look for. So those are our rib. Fritz with, I can't believe it's not butter, butter. This is actually a soy-based product, so if you're using that regular butter, you could get a bad taste. So this is uh, what I'm using, and just water. Gotta make sure we got a mist, because if you got a stream like that, you'll blow all your rub right off. I can't believe it's not butter, butter. Um, you know, it uh, gives you that butter flavor. Butter flavor is what we're looking for. Pull back on the rib. So we might be getting closer than not to uh, wrap. Not ready to wrap. Oh, these are actually these are really close to done. To break that connective tissue around the bone so the bone pulls better. I like my sugar even. Use a sifter. And I like it nice. See how even that is? We'll spray a little, I can't believe it's not butter, butter. A little bit of honey. A little bit of agave. And we'll do it again on the back. So I flip it over. And I do the same. Again, I use a sifter. If you have a flour sifter, it's a little easier, but this works. A little bit of honey. And I forgot the rub on the top. So I need to flip it over just a little bit. Keeps that flavor reinforced. Now we'll wrap it. I do a simple wrap. I want to be able to open it up and check on it. Still keep it tight so it doesn't steam. So what we're looking for not necessarily temperature, but between the bones. You want to be able to probe that, and you want it smooth. About 200, 202. It's gonna be, these are perfect, these are done. Happy with those.